I would like to introduce to you tonight to his show, Mr. Chris Kaler. Tonight's show is going to be a healing show. And I want to give a big shout out to Karina in the chat. We just finished working with her at a wonderful session. Now, some energy discoveries. One of the big things that I found, I worked with somebody yesterday, and uh, this person divulged some pretty good information to me about some things he was going through. What we found is you know, there's a lot of people, David Icke included, who look at the Queen of England and Prince Philip and says they are reptilian. There's a lot of people that talk about that, and there's a lot of high level, the Rothschilds, a lot of people in high society, a lot of people with a lot of power are reptilian. And of course, I look at that and say, uh, you know, it looks like a human to me. And, you know, they show the eyes uh, shifting back and forth from slits to normal pupils, and, you know, is that Photoshop? I don't know. But uh, what we did find yesterday, now one of the things I've been working with with a lot of people and anybody my clients will you know, attest to this is the removal of two Egyptian gods, Seth and Thoth. Now it's never one or the other, it's always the both of them. And I always find it within the soul or in the causal body or somewhere within the person's consciousness. And by removing this consciousness of these two characters, it makes it easier for me to get in and find the actual health problem and get rid of it. But it's, it's never really dawned on me why it's always just Seth and Thoth. Now, if the royals are reptilian, Seth and Thoth, I know from my work, are reptilian. What I found yesterday is that Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip are Seth and Thoth. The significance of that, we've uncovered it, we've lifted that veil, is now the powers that be, source, all of his helpers, all the, the consciousness of the universe that is clearing out this planet can now go and clear out Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip of these characters and lift all of that power source from them. Well, what do we else do we find today? People's cost of sin or the karmic debt was a real big one. That came in two days and was gone. So it, it was cleared out on its own. So we don't have to clear that out anymore. We've been clearing out the love self or your love body. And that was occupied by Seth and Thoth. Now that the veil has been lifted off of them, we don't have to clear that body out anymore. So, so there's a lot less areas we need to, to hit. And every day is getting easier. And that's what I'm finding is, is that... The whole shifting process of energy, and we've been going through a lot of shifts. Uh, we just went through 999, September 9, 2016. 2 plus 1 plus 6 equals 9, so that was 999, which is the reverse of 666. We all know what that number is. Oh, yeah, we do. So a lot of things like that. Uh, we went through a, a big eclipse that was visible in South Africa. There's another eclipse coming up. But all of these alignments creates a shift of energy which enables us to go in deeper and, and find more things. Is uh, Karen McDonald there? Yes, she is. Now, we had Karen on, and we had, what, 13,000 uh, hits on it? Yeah, it was, it was about a 13, crazy amount 13 of people. something, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so Karen wants to come on again, and she wants to do a quick general healing for the planet and humanity. Karen, are you there, my dear? I absolutely am. How are you guys doing? Oh, you sound like you're talking from heaven. Yep, she was, for a second. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How's I, everyone I, doing today? I, I thought it just sounded great. Are you kidding? Oh, oh. you such a sweet what, a, what an intro. We're all doing fantastic, my dear. What have you got for us today? Well, you know, I thought it would be really fun for people to get some water, and we're talking about all this great stuff, and alignment's coming on, and of course we've got a full moon coming up, you know, in a few days, so... I thought it would be kind of fun and, you know, kind of get together here that we could just sort of sit here and just kind of focus on some of the stuff that we're doing. I know, Chris, you're over there in uh, the Winnipeg and Nishina Bay area. I was there not too long ago, and um, I'm kind of playing by the University of Saskatchewan here. So we got so much stuff going on on the planet that, you know, it'd be nice just to take a breather for a second. And, um, yeah, you know, if we could get some water and just focus for a minute. And it's kind of like when I do skill biofeedback or radionics you know what i'm going to do is actually do a group healing and that will extend to anyone that's listening now but further when it goes out on the archive so it's kind of an exponential kind of a healing doesn't that sound like fun chris let's well, do it my dear let's do it mm. so yeah no i think it's great we've got such a variety of people i see somewhere on the uh, skype lines 
near and close to me and <laughs> far, far away. So this is really a global thing that we're doing. Yep. And I think we really need to focus a lot if we can, because the one thing that's in common to all of us is water. Uh, I really want to focus on that. That's primarily what my message. I'll be meeting actually with different people, with the uh, water people out here in David Suzuki this week, and and facilitate looking at a new direction of taking things with former Sergeant Patty Bassard so that we can actually set up um, different... uh, Healing facilities and healing lodges and stuff that would be enclosed, kind of like a, a geodesic dome, you know. And this is the way that we're going to have to uh, take a look at doing things. So, um, Chris, do you want to add into anything? I know you've no. got toys. i got toys. i got, you know, biofeedbacks back here. I've got organ going. I've got a scalar technology and rife and radionics and probably every toy I think between us we could possibly have. But, you know, it literally comes down to what's between our ears. It's our mind. That, and really there's a lot of things out there having a war for our it's, mind, it's but our I think mind, if we can... It's our intent, it's our thoughts, Peace. they're all energy, yeah. they're all powerful. Absolutely. And so what I'd like to do is actually just have everyone take a nice big uh-huh, whew, minute and literally just we have a quick meditation. And if you've got some water, even better. If you want to put it, you know, your hands around it, put it in between your, you know, lap or something. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm really encouraging everyone, especially the women, to go find your local springs. Findaspring.com because that water is not H2O. It's more like H3O2, something we call kind of easy water. It's a fourth stage, but it's chemically different. And so it's like a full-spectrum chakra knock you out, and it's live. And that's really what I want to do between that and some of the oils. So if you've got some oils, I'm doing some smudging, and this is what we'd like to do. So I'm actually kind of smudging back here. I've got essential oils. And that is actually something that we're doing for each and every one of you. You know, because the vibration or the frequency and the intent of what's being carried is going throughout everything right now. And some of the people that are very sensitive, they'll be able to smell some of this. It's a nice deep breath in. And let's just ground for a minute. And let's just ground into that spring water. Whether you think you're an oak tree or something, let's take our feet as roots and extend that into that spring water. And let's remember why we're all on this planet. We're here to be in peace and that we're supposed to make this planet actually better, like great guests. And that's why as a clam mother, it's incumbent upon us to remind people of that. It's to bring ourselves back into that inner peace, but we've got to have peace of mind first and be cleaned out before we're helpful to being out here. As we just bring your attention to your feet, I love this with Dr. Richard Bartlett. If you want to learn something very cool, look up Matrix Energetics. But your feet are always taking in information. You just are deleting it because it's not useful at this moment. So bring your attention and your awareness, just to your feet, what it feels like on the ground. And let's just move up into our ankles. And up through the knees. Up and through the hips. In the pelvic area, let's just play with the chakras for a bit. We'll look at the color red, just like your glowing little garnet ball in there. Big strawberry inside, just glowing. And let's cleanse. Let's use that spring water to cleanse us. It's a full color spectrum. It has all the reds and the oranges as we move up. And the yellow, our solar, our soul. Bring up that monotonic. It's ormus rich. It's noble. That's what we're supposed to be, is part of that nobility again. And into our hearts, the color green, as we see the spectrum around us. Getting in alignment with nature. Up into the throat, the color blue, almost like a sapphire. Lapis. Beautiful crystals. Opening up our throat, our communications. Getting rid of that fear of injustice so that we can have open and free communications. And up into between our brows, the color amethyst, that beautiful color, that beautiful crystal. It opens up our pineal, our third eye. If you've got sandalwood, that's great. It does it too. 
All your trees were becoming the trees. The trees bring up life. And up into the crown area, that indigo crystal, we're going into that deep, deep indigo, almost like a purple. Open that crown up. And that's why the different oils like frankincense, myrrh, raw cacao, the cocoa chocolate tree. And open that crown right up and right up into the heavens. Be part of that, connected so as above, so below. There's water up there in the atmosphere. Our healing comes from those trees. That's why shaga and reishi, any even the mushrooms, any kind of essential oil connected to it, lemon, orange, anything. If I can part one thing, become like water, become the tree. <laughs> and I wanted to thank you, Chris, because we're taking a moment for ourselves and I needed to do that for myself today. Go out and get grounded. Those trees Good. hold the energy. And I just spent a wonderful weekend with Yarrow Willard here in the Saskatoon area. I was spending some time with the indigenous tribes. And actually in an hour and a half, I'm on my way to Wanuskewin, out to where we have the second largest medicine wheel to protect the waters and protect those lands and those sacred sites that's incumbent and has been left for all of us to protect. I think that's really, really important. And it's really great that we get to do things one-on-one. -on -one. This is really different than Reiki. It's different than body talk, theta, matrix energetics, all the different things that we've learned up till now. But it's really about the water. And as I explained about even using shaga mushroom and doing essential oils or just using apple cider vinegar in an enema, they got it. They said, oh my gosh, that's the toroidal. It's back to the center. It creates the center. <laughs> and that's true. That's where your root chakra is. We need to become grounded that way. So I really would like to encourage people. One of my favorite books, if you go to Karen Ann McDonald or go to Project Instantion, I've got 30 different videos there I have done. And if I could encourage you to get one book, it's called salt and water the essence of life find out what we're really all about and this is really really important you know we can measure our energetic potential and all these little acupuncture and acupressure meridians and all the toys that Chris and I have and play with all these different uh, radion devices and, and neutralizers and harmonic rings but what we're really doing is we're trying to get back to the water, to the structure of the water, which is us. And we have to become the elements. And that's where really the, the idea of being a solarian and breatharian. I was so excited to have got recontacted again this week by Genesis, or Jericho Genesis Sunfire. If you don't know who these solarians and breatharians are, these are people that have already mastered themselves. These are the people that don't require food or water. They're called dry fasters. Um, and Nadiets is quite the right word. Maybe not initiate, but an idiot would be the right one. <laughs> <laughs> and just remember, we're, we're reaching out there. I know this is a far stretch for someone, but this is the power of the spoken word. Just like what Dr. You know, Mr. Omoto said. I speak many different languages, but it's about living. And it starts with the water. And I wanted to say, like my Baba would say, mir. that's where the, the term miracles comes. Mir, it means peace. And um, if I can extend that to one thing, people are not diseased. What we have is a lack of education. What we have is dehydration. We have no lack of water on this planet. We have how it's being managed. And we have to remember what we're putting in. It's not just like what we see in the Dakotas with the black fracking and everything, but that's an extension of what's going on here. And again, as we have to crystallize ourselves, even just doing Soleil, which is Himalayan crystal salts from the Himalayan mountains, Put that in some water. Find the effects. Get alkalized. Change your vibration. Change your magnification. Become the magnet. <laughs> you know, you got to remember that. You know, just the actual uh, avatar that we have operates. You know, sometimes around eight hertz, eight to ten. Our organs, some of them, one hundred and two. But in order to get to that atomic elemental thing or back to the nucleus, we need to be in the thousands of hertz. And that's only the trees that start bringing us up with that spring water. So 
that is the healing and knowing that um, we can all be like that. So we can harmonize into getting balanced with your pH at 7.36 to 46. That soul layer salt water is going to start flushing a lot of the heavy metals. I think it's the most important thing we can do today. All about water. Karen, thank you so much for that. Uh, I appreciate you more than you know. Thank you for coming back on. Thank you. I really, you know, appreciate that. Okay, let's take this from the top. Area code 702. Who's on the line? This is John. Hi, John. How you doing? John, how's it going, my friend? What can I do for you today? Hey, Chris. Um, love your shows. Uh, my back is killing me. I uh, took a bad fall a couple of years back, and it's kind of snuck up on me, and I just can't walk anymore, it seems. Uh, I'm from the couch to the wheelchair, and finally ended up in a wheelchair. I just can't walk around anymore, and I get around that way, but... I think, you know, when I took my fall, I just fell with all my weight, a good 200 pounds. It hit pretty hard on my knees. And, um, like I said, my back just hurts. I can't pick up anything. Or... Okay. And let's let's course... start with this. I just did a quick dowsing, and we're going to remove our cons out of your back muscles to start, and then we'll have another look, all right? Okay. Here we go. Within John's back muscles, all of John's back muscles are cons. False. Causal body and physical. Archons, false. Take them to ether, please. Within John's back muscles. Archons, false. All archons, false. It, okay, John, those archons just left. Let me know if you feel a tingle or any kind of energy shifting, okay? What problem now for John, please? Got lower back, my legs feel heavy. Probably within the last year or so, I've been eating hamburgers. I used to live to eat hamburgers. I can't eat them anymore. I, I just, you know, I take them down and then they all come back out. I just can't handle hamburger meat. Okay. So, uh, I don't touch anything from McDonald's. Nothing. Not one of the products. And I noticed once I did that, you know, I started feeling better. In his. Okay, femoral. Femoral arteries is high levels of. Okay, we're going to remove sodium out of your femoral arteries. If there's not enough blood getting to your legs, they're going to be heavy, and you're, you're not going to have a lot of function. Okay, let's do this. Within the femoral arteries, sodium buildup and deposits false. John's femoral arteries, veins and arteries, sodium buildup and deposits false. Sodium buildup. And deposits, false. Femoral arteries, femoral veins, sodium, false. Okay, that's moved out. Do you feel any kind of changes happening, John? Yeah, it it feels a little bit lighter back there if you can. Okay, perfect. I just just feel something going on down there. Okay. Like it's lighter or something. Next, I don't know. Next is. Okay. I'm kind of traveling up my back a little bit too. It's femoral nerves is. Femoral nerves. Is that down by the L2 to L3 area down there? Correct. Okay. The lumbar. Femoral nerves is. Okay, the big problem is in the femoral nerves, and we're going to remove Okay, within John's femoral nerves, bovine steroids false. Bovine steroids false. Femoral nerves, all bovine steroids false. 
femoral nerves, bovine steroids, false. Okay, how are those legs feeling now? Well, I can lift them, like I can watch with them a little bit now, and they, uh, they feel lighter. That's, That's what we're looking for. Now, the bovine steroids, anything bovine antibiotics, the steroids, the antifungals, the DNA of, of anything uh, cattle can get in the nervous system if it's infected, if, if there's any kind of contaminant to it. If you look at mad cow disease, it's a neurological disease. So, you know, they, it could still be within the cattle and not they don't have any symptoms, but when you ingest the meat, drink milk, eat cheese, anything dairy, you may get that in your nervous system. And then those sneaky little archons, those little gin, will take that and use it against you and put it in, in your nervous system and cause a problem. Uh, many, many of your programs, I listen to them like every day. <laughs> and I try to follow what you're saying. And, and uh, you know, I, one time I had a headache and it went away just listening to your program. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, another yeah. day I, I uh, listened to it and, and got my head, my neck ache went away. It's still, you know, kind of like comes and goes. It's kind of, we have to peel down to the, to the center of the onion, I guess you'd say. And, so um, definitely give this about 12 or 24 date, hours to settle so in. And if you notice a big change, I want you to uh, send me an email, give me a call right away, and maybe I can find a place to fit you in and we can continue the session. Chris, thanks much. Have a good one. Th